Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the long overdue tour of my living room and dining room. It's finally done. I think there's probably only one or two little things that I need to change. But if you're interested to see what it's like and find out where everything's from, then just continue to watch. What I like about you, so dangerous, I get this right. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Juliet, and I do three videos a week on all sorts. So if you do like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So first of all, this video is kindly sponsored by Decenio. So if you don't know who Decenio are, they are a company that sell prints for your home. They are constantly updating the website and they have so much on there. So they literally have something for everybody. Every time I go to pick a print off Decenio, it takes me quite a while because there is so much to choose from and there's always something new as well. So Decenio have also kindly given me a code, which I know a lot of you have been waiting out for. So I will leave it in the screen here and also in the comments below it is mrs dudley 25 and that will get you 25 percent off all prints the code doesn't apply it to hand-picked personalized prints and frames so bear that in mind when you do go onto their website if you do want to pick something so the code mrs dudley 25 will be valid from the 9th to the 11th of march at midnight just like cinderella so to make sure if you want to pick something that you head over there before midnight on the 11th to use that code so the reason i just love Decenio so much I've worked with them for quite a while now and the one thing I love about their website with the being so much is there's actually a gallery wall feature so you can put all your prints into a gallery wall I always get so many questions about the gallery wall in my beauty and like wardrobe room which I will put in a little clip of here that was one of the first gallery walls I did with Decenio and I'm not changing anything but since that I have picked more prints for around the house and we are going to be changing and switching up these two behind me. I actually bought two new prints to go in there just to bring a bit more colour into the room and I just thought that if we get different prints we can just switch them out, out with the old, in with the new and just make it look a little bit different for the different seasons. So we've got our room very cream at the moment and I wanted to bring in some warmer colours so that is what we've decided to do with the new prints but I still do love these and so what we're going to do is actually move these into the hallway so I will show you those prints on the wall as well. Oh okay <laughs> so I've just popped you down on the floor and let me show you how Decenio arrived. So it always comes really well packaged with an easy open box she says it's easy open and then I can't open it. You know what I mean. It's one of these boxes and these are the 50 by 70 frames. So like I say, the one thing I just love about these frames is these clips on the back. They kind of push in and swivel. And I love that because, you know, when you get like the normal frames, they've got like those tiny metal things on that you push, like you lever up and down um, and they always snap off. So I do love those. I'm not saying that I haven't got other frames around the house, like in the boys' bedrooms and stuff, but for really nice prints that we've got in the home, I do love the frames. I can show you the sizes, so I always think it's nice to see. So this is a 50 by 70 frame, as you can see, it's quite large. And then these are a 30 by 40 size. And then this is the smaller size, which I've got for the downstairs toilet, which is the 21 by 30. So just so I'll quickly show you because it's always nice to see what sizes look like. So also in here, you will get your arts and it always comes in like a big folder like so. So it is protected oh, straight away. Wait, I just absolutely love the big ones we've got. So I'm gonna quickly show you the ones that aren't going in the living room because you won't see these. And these are actually going in my downstairs toilet. So I've got a little makeover coming soon for that. Matt has been re working really hard on that. And I've picked up these two prints to go in there. So this is like white with a bit of cream on, two hands. And then this one is a print that says, it's not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. Which I thought was just a, such a lovely little quote to pop in the downstairs toilet. And Matt said this reminds of him asking people to wash their hands so <laughs> i can't really get much better for a downstairs toilet can you so, so i'm gonna go and do that 
and then let's go on the rest of the video guys okay so welcome to the new living room and dining room i'm going to take you around and i'm going to show you exactly where everything is from and i really hope you enjoy this first of all i'm going to start with the window area and that is because matt created this beautiful radiator cover and he built it himself and i'm so so pleased with it we just used wood i painted the bottom and then for the top he bought some pine and actually routed the edge of it and the vase is actually my mom's and she passed it down to me and so i'm yet to put something in it but i just love it in the window ledge i'm really really looking forward to being able to decorate this area for every season like i did at christmas and yeah i absolutely love it i've always wanted a window seat as a child the curtains are actually from b m and they were only about 25 or 30 pounds a pair which was so so good because they are huge i'll show you i've also got them in the other end in the dining room so and that is that little area moving on to the seating area which is probably one of my favorite places in this living room these wing back chairs were actually from ikea and we only paid i think 150 pounds a seat which is incredibly cheap for a queen and like a wing back chair if you know your chairs and then we got these little stories from Poundland they were just five pounds and they are so great you can put your feet on them but we can also put all our paperwork and everything that we use every day we just put away in the cubes and then that is really just an amazing place to sit the lamp itself in the corner is also from ikea which i've had for quite a while and the mirror is also from b m the tray and the stool underneath so that is not actually staying there that is a bit of like a temporary thing but the tray is actually from primark and the seat underneath it is from home bargains okay so moving over to the fireplace area so this was actually um it's always been a chimney breast but matt has actually widened this out and recoved it so that it actually looks built in what she did is he got these sleepers and he routed the edges and we used coffee to stain them which is actually in a transformation vlog that i will leave linked if you want to watch it and then behind the fire this was before it was marble which was beautiful but it was a bit damaged so i actually got some of that sticky back tile and it just blends in so well you would never even know the fire is from aldi which i absolutely love i'm just going to pop it on for you there you go the fire is from aldi and i absolutely love it i believe it was only about 50 pounds the plant on the right here that is also from aldi which came in the planter with the fern and then that is an aldi candle and a primark candle on there and then i will show you basically what matt did so he built it in so we could have these little shelves in the side and this is just so all the electronics get tucked away out of the way from everybody else and then also we've got those shelves on that side as well which is just a really great place to keep books and dvds and just make this place really nice and open moving over to one of my favorite parts of the living room and that is my sofa so this sofa was actually custom made from a company called oswald and pablo i've spoke about it on my channel before but this is a four-seater chesterfield in a cream like a suede material and i am in love with it i will leave the company link below because honestly it is such good quality and i've been wanting one for so so long and i'm hoping that this will be a long-term investment and moving up these are my new decennio prints so i wanted to make sure that i had them up before i showed you them but i am in love they've got just these beautiful burgundy colors in so it just brings a little bit of color into the living room without it being too harsh and i just love the neutral tones decennio do these things called pairs where you can like pick pictures that will go together nicely and complement each other and moving down this rug is also from ikea and and it's just it was so reasonably priced i will leave it below if i can i think it was called langstead or something like that but i can't 100 percent remember so i will leave it below now this corner over here we're not quite 100 percent finished on this corner we have ordered a unit to go here and i don't know what's how it's going to work but i will wait till it arrives and i'm really excited for it it's like a chest of drawers with wicker drawers in now i originally wanted to build something in here and have like something built in 
but I'm just not 100% sold because I really like having this open space and so I didn't want to fill it too much but also it looks a bit odd with nothing in it so what we are planning on doing is like I say getting a little chest of drawers here and I've got a big plant to go in that corner which is currently outside and um, it's a faux plant so I need to clean it up to bring it in and I think that is going to go there so moving through these are our bifold doors here that go into the dining room I will leave the link of this place below because I get asked a lot about these bifold doors and we actually bought them from a company and they were so reasonably priced so moving in to the dining room and as you can see pride of place is my dining table again this is something I get asked a lot about but it was actually my mom and dad's dining table and as we've all flown the nest there was actually four girls we, like we're, I'm one of four girls and when we fled the nest it doesn't get used as much so my mum and dad kindly gifted it to me hashtag gifted um it's got these beautiful carver chairs on the end and then this actually extends out i've pushed it down to a six seater at the moment but it does extend out to an eight seater and me and matt we the reason they gave us it was actually damaged um so me and matt sanded it back or mainly matt um, again we coffee stained this to this beautiful color but i love the grain in it i can't explain how much i love it these little placemats are from dunelm and this i actually got off amazon as a roll of hessian and i cut it just as a table runner and i just love it because lucas messes us so much up so if it gets dirty we actually have loads more of this runner so that's amazing okay so i'm going to take you around from all the corners so in this little corner here we actually have a wine rack that matt built it's drilled into the wall can you tell i only drink asti <laughs> um but yeah i really really loved this that he created it's kind of like an optical illusion wine rack and i just really really love it because this space was like so wasted and we really wanted to do something that would you know just be different and so matt built that and yeah i absolutely love it so i'm loving every corner in this house but this is a little bit of a reveal of my bar area and these are the decennio prints that have just arrived and it's finished it off so so lovely so this is actually a billy bookcase i think from ikea with the doors and then what i absolutely love is crystal so again i kind of inherited decanters over the years from charity shops but from my mum and dad as well so we've got like a brandy one a whiskey one i've got my gin in this one um, and then a vodka one but we've got so many decanters i love cut glass as you can probably tell from in here and all my vintage stuff i just love vintage cut glass and china i just think it's so timeless but yeah, these were the prints that I picked up from Decenio to finish this little area off. And again, it's just like the crystal glasses. And I really, really love that. I'm so, so pleased with how it's turned out. They fit so well with this corner plant. So this is actually from the range and it was only £10. It's a faux eucalyptus plant and it's in a beautiful pot that's kind of like got the what are they called Macam <laughs> I don't know what they're called those things that hold the pots anyway and it's just a cream rope and a gold hoop on the top so I just think that cord was just so beautiful and it was a real last minute kind of area that we didn't think we were going to do but now we've done it it's one of my favorite things in here I say that but I love every corner Okay, so moving across here, these are our Home Bargains Bargains. These are only $7.99 a mirror, and I just really, really love those on there. And I've put my little lemon tree on there. This was from Tesco. So instead of putting another radiator cover in here, we decided to just put a floating shelf on top. So this was actually the offcut of the pine from that radiator cover over there and we moved it into here and just popped a little plant on and again Matt routed all the edges and I coffee stained it and it's just lovely it just finishes the radiator off without blocking all the heat so yeah that was what we decided to do over there 
Moving on to this wall, this is again another Desenio wall. We actually had these last year and I wanted something really plain and simple on this wall, but we need, because we needed quite a lot of prints to fill it. Now we could probably even get another print here, but it's just such a big wall and I didn't know what to do with it because obviously we had the mirrors behind me. And so we just went with like this eucalyptus, this wheatgrass, and I think that is a, I don't know what that is, peace plant? on the end I think I don't know but yeah I absolutely love those I just think they're really nice and plain and simple now I am going to change the curtain rail because it's black at the moment and we used to have black and silver in here and it is hiding my microwave down there so this is kind of like a little bit over here a bit unfinished a few more things to do um and we've got a little we've got to do the step there as well but I just wanted to show you this last corner because so many people again ask about this Welsh dresser. I used to film a lot in front of this and I used to get so many questions. So this Welsh dresser is actually a pine dresser and again it was my mom and dad's. They'd had it for years and they actually had two dressers. So I inherited this one and what I did was I painted it. So I painted all the white with white satin wood and then these little panels here and there and in the back of the cupboards I actually painted with summer linen summer linen which is the same um, colour as the wall and again you can clearly see my problem with cut glass because I have all my cut glass in here this was my little in here these were my absolute bargain I got these for free <laughs> These are my wine goblets and I bloody love them. So yeah, I love my cut glass and they are all pride of place in there. And I get a lot of questions about this. People always think it's a pumpkin. It's actually an apple, I believe. Don't quote me on it. Um, but I had this from HomeSense years ago. And it's got a hole in the back. And I always leave this out for every season and we decorate it up every season. So that's just sat on there at the moment. I absolutely love how both of these rooms have turned out. If you followed me for a while, you will know that I have been so struggling with these rooms. It's been a long time coming. It took us ages to finally get the floor down. So now the floor is down. It just, that everything just started coming together. And I really love these rooms. I can't explain how much I do, but this is just the only bits in the house that are done now. The kitchen is not gonna be done for a while, but I just wanted to show you this so I'm just going to leave you with a few shots of these rooms and then I will wrap the video up. seeing some of the Desenio prints and like I say don't forget to use my code Mrs Dudley 25 for 25% off do remember it's not on hand picked personalized prints or frames and it's valid until midnight on the 11th of March so don't forget to head over there and have a browse I have to say it's a bit of a guilty pleasure that as I get older I really really like scrolling and finding prints for my home I really really love to do that because it just makes me happy if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye